Hi everyone. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I am so excited for the book that I have for you today. I don't know if it's that the story is so good or if it's that the cover is so beautiful. I don't know, but I was so, so excited when I got my hands on this book. So the story that we are reading today is called Grumpy Corn. And if you guys think back to our classroom, you know that I love rainbow and I have rainbows everywhere. And so all these colors on the cover are just so exciting to me. But also, I do really like the story. Um, there's some sad parts, but it gets better. So this story called Grumpy Corn was written and illustrated by Sarah McIntyre. So I hope you guys are excited and let's see what the story is about. Look at this. Isn't that just beautiful? I love all the colors. Okay. Unicorn was sitting in his special writing house. I'm going to write the most fabulous story in the world, he thought. This made him feel very pleased with himself. He already liked being a writer. But Unicorn didn't know where to begin his story. I need my special fluffy pen, he said. He went and got his special fluffy pen, but he didn't know what to write. I need a cup of my special moonberry tea, he said. Then I will be able to write my story. He went and made himself a cup of his special moonberry tea, and Unicorn sat at his desk wondering what to write in his special fancy notebook. He sighed. I wish an idea would come knocking at my door. But Narwhal knocked instead. What are you doing, Unicorn? I am busy writing the most fabulous story in the world, said Unicorn. Wow, said Narwhal. Can I be in your story? Don't be silly, said Unicorn. No one wants to read a story about a narwhal. Narwhals are very boring. There will be no narwhals in my story. Oh, said Narwhal. He swam sadly away. Mermaid, guess what, said Narwhal. Unicorn is writing the most fabulous story in the world. Mermaid looked impressed. She swam off to visit Unicorn. Hello, Unicorn, she said. How's your story coming along? Very badly, said Unicorn. I'm waiting for my moment of genius, and I do not have any cookies. My genius ideas will only come to me if I can get some cookies to eat. Mermaid had an idea. If I bake you cookies, can I be in your story? Unicorn thought for a moment. Maybe, but only if the cookies make me feel inspired. Grump. No wonder he's called Grumpy Corn. Mermaid swam back to her submarine to bake her famous starfish cookies. Narwhal helped. He loved licking the bowl. Mermaid brought the cookies to Unicorn. Now can I be in your story, she asked. Unicorn took a bite of cookie and looked thoughtful. He ate the whole plate of cookies and kept looking thoughtful. No, said Unicorn. I'm afraid you can't be in my story. They were very good cookies, but they did not inspire me. Mermaid swam away in a huff. What's wrong, Mermaid? asked Jellyfish. 
Unicorn is writing the most fabulous story in the world, she sniffed, but he won't let me be in it. My cookies were not inspiring enough. Maybe I'm in it, said Jellyfish. Everyone loves Jellyfish. She wriggled with excitement and swam off to visit Unicorn. Hello, Unicorn, said Jellyfish. Have you finished your fabulous story yet? I can't wait to read it. Is there a jellyfish in it? Why don't you let me be in your story? I will be the most brave jellyfish and go into space and discover fantastic alien jellyfish and... No! howled Unicorn. I can't get any ideas because everyone keeps bothering me. You are all very silly and annoying and I don't want to write this story any more. Oh, what a grumpy corn, said Jellyfish. Unicorn threw his fluffy pen, his notebook, and his teacup into the sea. They sank down and down and drifted on the ocean currents until... Look, said Mermaid. It's the most fabulous story in the world. Yippee! Let's read it, said Narwhal. The friends gathered around to read Unicorn's story, but Unicorn had not written a single word. Poor Grumpy Corn, said Mermaid. I wish we could help. I have an idea, said Narwhal. Once upon a time, a unicorn tried to write the most fabulous story in the world. He was visited by a world famous baker, said Mermaid, and the bravest jellyfish in the ocean, said Jellyfish, and the cleverest Narwhal in the whole universe, agreed Narwhal. A few hours later, Unicorn arrived, carrying a big flat box. I tried to write a fabulous story, he said, but I was not a very fabulous friend. But I am fabulous at ordering pizza. I brought this to say I'm sorry. That looks like, that looks like very inspiring pizza, said Nar Narwhal, and you are just in time. To help us finish the most amazing, clever, fabulous, and funny story in the world. And that is the end of this story. I loved this book. I loved all of the characters. And I have a connection to this story because... One, I have definitely had those moments where I sat down and either tried to write a story or a poem or a paper or whatever it was, and I had what we call writer's block, where I just sat there and I could not figure out what to write. But also, I relate to Grumpy Corn because, you know, sometimes we're just not in the best moods and we're trying really, really hard to do something and our anger about not being able to do that comes out on other people and a lot of times people that we care about a lot. So I do have connections to Grumpy Corn and I am glad that he came around at the end. Now you guys know I like to give you some optional activities to do um, with these read aloud stories. So today I actually have two optional activities because one is fiction and one is nonfiction. I know a lot of you have been loving writing nonfiction, so um, I am drawn to Narwhal as a character in this book because he was the first one that Unicorn was not very nice to, and so both of these writing activities are about Narwhal. So the first one is um, Narwhals are actually real animals and a lot of people don't know that. So option one 
is to complete some research about a narwhal and I have included in the folder the page with all the information of the topics that you would need to research about the narwhal and I would love to see that if you do that option. The other option is to um, write a short fiction story where narwhal is the superhero of your story. So it could be about anything. He could do whatever amazing thing that you want him to do, but write a short story where instead of Narwhal being boring like Unicorn said he was, make him the superhero of your story. And I would love to see that too. And the book template is in the folder. So I hope you guys enjoyed this book and I will see you guys in the next video.